Aloha everyone, I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this uh, stunning vanity and uh, paint it in a beautiful shade of pink and uh, also a lovely custom color. So let's get into it! I started by removing the hardware and boiled them with water and vinegar they were really dirty and sticky and they even had old varnish on them. Then I sanded down the whole piece with 180 sandpaper grit to get rid of the shine so the paint will have a porous surface to stick on. After that I hoover the dust off and now it's time for a proper clean with pristine clean, a great furniture cleaner to use prior of painting with silk paint. I sprayed it all over the piece and I start rubbing it with a wire sponge. Now I took a bottle just with water and rinsed it the whole piece about three times to make sure all the dirt went away together with the cleaner. We let it dry for a few hours, then it was ready to paint. We made a custom color as we wanted a little shading on the corners. We've added 15 spoons of conch and 10 spoons of warp. The color turned out like hmm, pinkish, hue of grey and a lovely one, so we decided to keep it and see what happens. We first applied conch uh, in the middle and then we added the pinkish grey around the drawer edges and we slightly blended them, which will create uh, beautiful shadows. And don't worry too much about the perfect blending at this point, just go with the flow. The first coat is actually a good time to practice your blending. As I'm doing now, although it will be covered, but worth it to get more experienced. Anyhow, the color is a good match, it looks really pretty, so it stay with us. We let it dry for about two hours and then we moved on to the second coat. For the blending we'll need three brushes, one brush for a conch, one brush for the custom color and one clean brush for blending. I applied conch with the oval medium brush in the center of the drawer and as I was going towards the edges I just fade out the paint doing almost like a bit of dry brushing which will help uh, to blend the colors beautifully and easy. Then with the flat medium brush I apply the custom color around the corners and I make sure to just take a small amount of paint on the brush so when I blend them it won't totally cover the pinkish. And the same I was fading it out into the pink. Afterwards, I took our uh, best tank brush and I start blending them using uh, short circular motions. And it's our favorite one for blending.
On the handlers, we apply one coat of um, slick stick as we want to paint them and it will help the paint stick properly. Once it dried, we applied one coat of conch and over it gemstone mousse in amber, which is a beautiful pigmented cooperish mousse. As a last touch on the handlers, we apply the chameleon wax in apricot, which have a lovely and subtle uh, pinkish hue in it. On those beautiful details, I apply gemstone mousse with my finger. Once it dried, I applied a bit of uh, chameleon wax in between the carvings. In the end, we decided to apply um, the gemstone mousse along the top edges of the drawers, which was like a little touch, but definitely a game changer. Just uh, love, love, love how it made the edges look so precious. We applied orange groove wax inside the drawers, on the drawer side also, which enhanced the wood and left behind such a smell. We are always looking forward to finish a project and apply this wax. The whole studio smells like a fresh orange juice. And finally, the last step, sealing the piece using the extra coat sealer. This is a durable satin top coat made specially for silk paint. I apply it with the blue sponge from Dixiebel in three layers and I let it dry in between coats about two hours. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. And if you did so, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.